Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. I found it hard to believe the article I saw in the Washington Post. It's called Chicago Won't Allow High School Students to Graduate Without a Plan for the Future. After I learned who's behind it, I'm not so surprised. Rahm Emanuel became mayor of Chicago in 2011 after resigning as Barack Obama's chief of staff. Recently, Emanuel persuaded the Chicago School Board to adopt a new graduation requirement that goes into effect in 2020. Here's how the Post describes it. To graduate from a public high school in Chicago, students will soon have to meet a new and unusual requirement. They must show that they've secured a job or received a letter of acceptance to college, a trade apprenticeship, a gap year program, or the military. Now here's what I think. Please keep in mind, Chicago is only the first school system to adopt this requirement. Already there's talk of other jurisdictions considering it. Any non-college-bound senior who fails to meet the requirement will have a harder time finding even a low-paying job with future potential. That's because he won't have a diploma. And remember, he's put in 12, 13 years, something like that. He's earned it, but they won't let it go. They won't give it to him. How does that solve the problem? And here's where social engineering fits in. It appears the new requirement would have no place for entrepreneurship. What about an 18-year-old who wants to start a business, local or out of town? Maybe he'd like to work as a self-employed fisherman, run a farm he has inherited, or write a book. Now let's consider public service. I guess he'd also have to rule out a year with the Peace Corps. So far, I've been using the pronoun he, but this also applies to a young woman. I believe she should be able to be a stay-at-home wife and mom, if that's her dream. Now that's a side of diversity Rahm Emanuel and his cohorts don't like to consider. Finally, I have doubts about a local school board's ability to add to state graduation requirements. I'm not a lawyer in Illinois, so I can't give you an airtight argument on this one. There's an unhealthy trend in today's society, and this policy is part of it, postponing the age of responsibility. There are 20-somethings, even 30-somethings, who are still living as teenagers. They need to be responsible for themselves, follow their vision, and if a mid-course correction is needed, that is their decision. A local school board should not have to approve the plan for their lives. Mel Gibson said it well with his character's dying gasp in Braveheart. Freedom. Less government. More personal responsibility. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. Thank you.